Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how you can create um, an enterprise level application using Signal R, MVC5 and, and Web API. What we would do is uh, send a notification to the client whenever the database is updated. So by talking too much we can get started. Um, and we'll be using a Visual Studio 2015, but 2013 can do the same job. So let's get started. We open a new project. Yeah, first of all, we open an we open a solution project. We call it MediaCom. Once an empty solution is opened, we can go ahead and add a new project, a new M MVC Web API project. Now we're going to go ahead and add an MVC application for the client side. So we'll call it Media Contact Client. Yeah, then we select MVC application and we add Web API. Yeah. First of all, we 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 do some a little bit cleanup. So I mean, we will make the the default boilerplate simpler so that we can work with it. So on the boilerplate, this is the kind of file that we get um, on a identity model. CS. Here we've got um, the application user, which we will just change it to make it simpler. We will, we will change it to a user. See, so we have to change all the all the application users on, on this project. So we can do it here if you have um, a reshaper. You you can just change it from here and then all. I want the application users will be changed to user. So we've got um, the application user changed to a user. And we do one more thing here. We change the, um, the, the database contest uh, to reflect uh, what we try and do here. So we've got a um, media comp. So we use a media comp DB contest. So we just do a refactoring, a re rename refactoring just to change all the related names. So we, now we change the, the default condition string name. So we make a media com db. So we we just go to the um, the web.com figure to make some um, to change the, the name as well. And, and then like we can change it to whatever DB connection that we, we would like to use on this. Now, <coughs> as you can see, uh, I've changed um, the connection string like from the default to, to match what I've got here on the identity model. So, at the moment, we just go ahead and, and close what we don't really need. Like the, like the contact and then about you just go to the, um, the controller uh, and then remove it Go on one nine simple in this page. Oh, we go back to the in this page and delete everything here as we don't need it. Don't 
then one more field. We, we, we create two more projects to add to this. And then we create a um, console application, a C sharp console application. We name it um, mediacom.test. Then we create one more application console, uh, one more class, C sharp class library. And we name it mediacom.models. Okay, so we delete that because we don't need it. We add one folder to it. We name that entity. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move the, the user to its uh, to a um, one file we call it us then we move the user onto the entity folder on the mediacom.models then we delete this one then what we do is we resolve the namespace Then we call it, we use the identity user, which is Microsoft.asp.net.identity user.entity framework. So now we can resolve the namespaces. Everything seems correct. So we go back to the mediacom.finds. Um, then we call that reference. We add that reference, that model reference to the, the client. So we add it. <coughs> the main aim is to build um, a user-driven um, real-time application but to test the SQL dependency we just add a new class to the uh, mediacom.model Now we can go ahead and add product.cs. Okay, now we set some properties in our product. Now we set some properties in the product. Of course, we declare the key. It's equal to GUID dot new. 
that we've got. That's green. Product name. And we've got one last property. Set the value inside the constructor here. Uh, we've got public product. So we've set the day added. Now we open global the SS to um to set the SQL dependency. In the global the SS we add a SQL dependency. Go start. Then we add the connections string here. Yeah. So I've got configuration manager. connection string and we add our connection string here mediacom db mediacom db dot connection string Then we, we stop the SQL dependency here and protect it. Copy the SQL dependency here. Paste it here. I will change this side to the end. To the stop actually. That's for now, we'll continue from part two.